In today's video, I will show you how to patch over this line to make it completely straight and remove this unwanted shadow using my favorite tool in Photoshop. Hi guys, I'm Jacob and thank you for joining me here today at the Raw Factory. This is the image that we'll be using as the example for today's quick little tutorial. As you can see, my main issue with this image is that the green paper is not completely flat, which is now casting a shadow and is drawing way too much attention. So how do we fix this? Well, this is where the handy, awesome tool called the Clone Stamp tool comes in super duper handy. And I'm gonna show you how to use that. Okay, to get started, let's open up this image in Photoshop. Now, head over to the Layer panel and duplicate the image by right-clicking and select Duplicate Layer. Rename this layer to patch, as this will be the layer that we make the edit to. Now before I try to fix the shadow problem, I wanna put the lemon and the can on their own layer. This will make sense later on. So to do this, select the pen tool and start clipping around the lemon. Now head over to the path panel and double click on the white box to save this path out. Rename it as lemon and click OK. Now that we have created a clipping path around the lemon, let's also create a clipping path around the can. Head over to the toolbar panel and select the pen tool. Now start clipping around the can just as we did for the lemon. Head over to the paths panel and double click on the new work path and rename it as can and click OK. So now that we have a clipping path around the lemon and the can, let me show you how to put them on their own layer. Let's get into it. If you click and hold the command key on your keyboard and click on the clipping path, it now puts a selection around the object. Notice that there is also a selection around the border of the image. We don't want that. So to invert it, click Shift I on your keyboard. And now the selection is only around the lemon. You now wanna go back to the layers, ensure you're on the patch layer and click Command J. I'll turn off the layers below so you can see that the lemon is on its own layer. Now let's also put the can on its own layer. Head back to the Pass panel and hold Command on your keyboard and click the can clipping path. Make sure you click on the white box. Go back to your layers panel and make sure you're on the patch layer. Once again, there is also a selection around the image and we don't want this. So to invert the selection so it's just on the can, hold down the shift key and click the letter I on your keyboard. And now click Command J on your keyboard to put the can on its own layer. As you can see, the lemon and the can are now on their own layer. To help identify these layers, let's quickly rename them. Lemon, can. Now it's time to work on patching up the cardboard paper. Let's create a clipping path diagonally across. Select P on your keyboard to bring up the pen tool. Click a point just below the shadow and scroll to the other end of the image and click another point just below the shadow. Now complete the path by going around the image like so. Head over to the paths panel and double click on the new work path and rename it as green line and click OK. Command click the path called green line to form a selection around it. Make sure you have selected the patch layer and now zoom in so that we can get to work on patching up this line. To begin, let's select the clone stamp tool. I'm gonna to begin at the center of the image. I wanna clone this area and paste it here. Select and hold down Alt on your keyboard and click the area you want to clone. Now move the mouse over to the area you want to patch up and click away just as if you were using the brush tool. As you can see, the green is being copied to the wrong side of the selection. Command Z to undo. To fix this, just invert the selection by pressing Shift I on your keyboard. And let's try again. That is a lot better. Now if you have a shadow like I do here and you're not sure how to patch over it, just sample from the direction the shadow is being cast, like so, and click your mouse in the same direction. Continue to clone the remaining areas. Now the green is complete, let's clone the other side. To invert this selection, click Command Shift I. Alt click to sample the new area and now begin to patch the remaining shadows. Now that's complete, let's head back over to the layers panel and turn off the patch layer so we can see the difference. Wow, what a difference that makes. Having that said, I have noticed one little error. The patch has cut off my shadows under the can and under the lemon. And to fix this, I will select the patch layer. Grab the clone stamp tool again and sample from the shadow to recreate it. 
Also, sampling from the brighter green paper to soften it up, like so. This should be enough to disguise our cover-up. Now, if I check the lemon, I have also noticed that the left side is appearing to be cut off. So for a quick fix, again, I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool to paint in some blue. Perfect. Here is the final image, before and now after. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video, you found it helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Catch ya.